Good morning, guys. Good morning, you two. Now turn left. No, I'm gonna turn right. Cause you don't know where I'm going. But I'm about to let you know. Woo! Restricted access on route. <laughs> There's no restrictions for me. I'm telling you that. GPS on this car is horrendous. I've been through here many, many times, and I don't know why today it's telling me that I can't, I can't drive through here. Ooh, I'm glad I'm getting new tires. These tires suck. I'm telling you, no traction at all. I'm at, I don't, I even, I, I had traction control on, and I'm sliding everywhere. Can't imagine if I had it on track with traction off it'll be crazy I love to drive it on track but since the tires are worn out I can't do it because it's dangerous I'm sliding all over the place drifting everywhere so I can't do it so today we're getting new tires um, I already paid for it uh, I was very lucky I'm not gonna read it because I'm driving that's not Did my homework I started making a lot of phone calls and I got I was support I was lucky enough to call this shop and it's a brand new shop and they had 20% discount okay they didn't have the brand I was looking for but the guy said hey man if, if, if you want a deal you know where we're at brand new and the, the, the offer ends today I can give you the tires you want with with the 20 percent discount i was like mm, no thank you i'm gonna i'm set with one particular tire i'm looking for which it got up to 417 dollars a tire and no discount no coupons no nothing so i was like you know what let me call this guy i had a hard time finding a number that i originally called to the shop I actually found it my man Jason I went to the place and actually got the tires I wanted and I'm not gonna tell you until you see them installed okay so we're here to our shop and somebody asked me in one of my videos how low my car was after I put the springs on I never had a chance to do it I forgot but here we go I'm gonna measure the tires before I and after and see what the difference is okay from the center of the rear tire we have almost 28 inches and a half to the middle right to the wheel well and then front tire front tire middle we have about 27 and three quarters okay then the height of the front splitter, splitter we have about five inches and an eight Five inches and a half right here. The front. Let's see the rear. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to measure it. Let's do it right here. Hopefully I'll remember all my measurements. Right here we have about four inches and an eight and one eight. Two ninety-five. Oh two ninety-five? Yeah. Man, they look nice. Yeah. I'm grip. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This car is gonna be spinning regardless. Yeah. My, whoa, right now the tire. Oh man, those tires are horrible. Cause I lost all the thread. And every time I take a turn or a shift, I'm just going all over the place. So, man, it's big, man. Yeah, that's it. Sweet. Okay, guys. So they gave me a tire here to compare. They gave me a tire here to compare, you can see. 
You can see the 275 right there and 295. It's a huge difference. Look at that. See right here. 275, no tread. Tire is pretty much garbage right here. And then 295, 30, 20. Man, look at that. So here's the specs. Got the Firehawk Indy 500, 295, 30, 20. Man, look at that. Okay, this is a front view. And you can see the 275 sticks out a lot. But remember, this tire is not installed and it's not doesn't have air, so probably will stretch out more. Man, it's gonna look sick. It's gonna look really sick. I forgot to mention these tires are directional, they only go one way. So this is the side out and this is the side in. So basically it goes like this. Man, they're gonna look really nice. Look how low profile they are. Look at that. From right here to right here. So it's a big difference. I'm gonna be really low. Oh man, I'm gonna be dragging this car really low. We'll see. Let's see how much damage I'm gonna do to this. And they're very extra careful with those wheels. It's a really good thing. And that thing right there bothers me too. That the plastic, somebody like melted the plastic there. Yeah. It's gross. Damn, they look really low profile. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, they look really nice. Hopefully they grip pretty good. Yeah. The car's lower, so... Yeah, they look really good. Thanks, man. Yeah. Hey, you parked in a, you parked in the perfect spot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you gotta give us a Yelp review. No, no, the tag oh, on it. Man, this car feels way different. I gotta break these tires in, so I can't say either I got a better grip or not, but definitely better than the stock worn out OEM tires I had on. No, not OEM, Pirelli tires. They were pretty worn out, so <laughs> they're laughing at me. <laughs> so, yeah, these feel. I gotta be careful, but I gotta break these tires in. And why are we driving so slow? Yeah, I don't, don't want to go crazy because I gotta break these tires in. But they look amazing. They look so good. I went. I went 295, 30, 20 all around. So the reason why is I can rotate them. It feels real good to have new tires, new shoes. Man, you gotta see the look. I gotta stop somewhere and show you a better look, better angle, because when we were there, the sun was hitting it weird and there's a lot of shade. But I 
definitely it looks really good i like it i like the look i think i, I should have gone a little bit wider not wider a little bit taller on the rear to film to fill up the the wheel but i can do that later on the car is vibrating like crazy i need an alignment i couldn't get it I don't know if this is shaking really bad, but I really do, I really need an alignment because the car was too low to fit on the rack, so I gotta go somewhere and get it done. So, that's it. Right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drive somewhere, stop, and do some measurements now that the springs and everything's settled down. So I got these Firestone Firehawk Indy 500 the size were the size are 295 30 20 okay so i got four tires install everything under a thousand dollars is that a good that's really good everything else i was looking at was double the price so i got new tires parking monitor mode keeps working thank you i got four tires balance install all for let's see if i can show you right here probably not i'll probably take a picture and show you guys yeah i'll just do that i'll just show you a picture right now that is the total price of everything four tires like i said uh balance and install so oh and disposal everything everything included the only thing they couldn't do was uh balance um alignment they couldn't do an alignment because the car is too low and they already told me this but they said they were going to try that didn't see the car so they said hey we're sorry we can't do the alignment so they i got a refund for over 100 bucks for the refund now i got to make an appointment find somebody that can take a lower car like this one and get the alignment that should be done so everything with a thousand dollars so i'm very happy this is merry christmas for me Car got new shoes and let's see how lower this car is. So what we have right now in the center, center tire, we're at 27 and three quarters. Front tire, we're at 27 and a quarter. Yeah, I'll be posting the difference here uh, in post production. The front here, we're at still looks at four and a half, or a little bit lower than four and a half. The front, it looks like see, it looks like four inches and a quarter four inches and a quarter and back here we're at 10 inches okay guys so there you go, I got the measurements, I gave you guys the price. If you find a better deal than that, just let me know. I'll probably take advantage on the next time. On the next one. So thanks for watching. Thanks for taking time and watching me uh, put the new tires in the car. It's too early to find out how these tires are going to work. But stay tuned. We have more videos coming. And like me, I had a good time. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.